What's good guys, it's your man Ben, the critic who's got more sass than the entire cast of Mean Girls today. We're diving into a Royal Rumble that's juicier than the Queen's Garden Party fruit salad. That's right, we're talking about the latest twist in the never-ending soap opera that is Harry and Meghan's life. The potential stripping of their old titles, grab your team crumpets. It's going to be a bumpy carriage ride, guys. But first, the usual drill, smash that subscribe button and crank that notification bell to 11. Why? Because in an era where Meghan Markle is trying to rewrite her Hollywood ending, you need a narrator who sticks to the original script. That's me, Ben, your trusty guide to the land of the fallen stars. So now, here's the tea piping hot from the palace kettle. There's been a lot of chatter, more buzz than a bee convention, about whether King Charles should do the ultimate parent move and take away Harry and Meghan's toys, or in this case, their royal titles. This, it's like when your dad says if you can't play nice with your sister, I'm taking away your PlayStation, except instead of a gaming console, it's being called Duke and Duchess. Now, you'd think being stripped of your titles would be a pretty big deal, like one day you're royal and the next you're just Harry from HR. But hold on to your fascinators because the rule book is weirder than Prince Philip's barbecue apron collection according to the etiquette, I mean, well, experts. If Meghan loses her Duchess of Sussex title, she doesn't just become plain old Meghan. That would be too simple for the monarchy that invented queuing as a national pastime. Instead, she'd become, wait for it, Princess Henry. Yes, you read that right, not Princess Meghan, which at least has a Disney ring to it, but Princess Henry. Because in the bizarre world of the Royal Protocols, a woman takes her husband's name in the title. It's like being in a Jane Austen novel. Ingrid Seward, the editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, and apparently the Yoda of Royal Wisdom explains if they lose their titles, Harry is still a prince by blood, and Meghan is still being the Duchess of Sussex, would be Princess Henry. She goes on to say it really would confuse Americans. Absolutely. The plot of The Bachelor, the title switcheroo, might just make their heads explode. But wait, it gets even more convoluted. Harry's real name isn't even Harry, it's Henry. That's right, Prince Henry, Charles Albert David. It's like his parents couldn't decide on a name, so they used all of them. It's really that crazy, guys. Meghan will be Princess Henry as well. It's a title that sounds less like royalty and more like a drag queen who specialises in medieval-themed shows. And let's not forget, this rule isn't just for Meghan Kate Middleton. Everyone's favourite royal fashionista isn't technically Princess Catherine. She's Princess William. I know, it's like finding out the Queen's corgis were actually robot dogs all along. But here's the million pound question. Will Charles do it? Will he channel his inner stern father and say, that's it, no more Duke and Duchess for you? Well, if you're one of those folks who've been camping outside Buckingham Palace with strip their title signs, you might want to pick up your tent. Most royal experts, including our friend Ingrid, thinks it's about as likely as Prince Andrew winning a public relations award. I don't think anything will happen to the title, she says. The Queen gave them the titles, let them keep them. It's almost like Grandma's last gift. Now, Seward even suggests that taking away the titles would be seen as unkind. Now, I nearly spat out my tea when I heard this news. Since when did kind become a factor in royal decision-making? This is the family that once sent the 13-year-old to boarding school because his ears were too big. But I digress. Here's where I, Ben, the brutal but fair critic, have to weigh in. The part of me that loves drama more than Shakespeare at a soap opera convention wants Charles to do it. Just imagine the fireworks that would happen. Harry and Meghan would be on every talk show talking about how they've been erased from history. There'd be hashtags, a Netflix documentary called The Title Snatchers, maybe a protest song by Elton John. But my more rational side, the part of me that's kept me from getting blacklisted by everyday celebrities in Hollywood, agrees with the experts stripping their titles would be a PR nightmare for the roles. Tom Quinn, another palace whisperer, says Charles and William, have discussed it, but are terrified this would backfire and make the situation worse. They don't want to give the renegade roles a chance to have more ammo. And you know what? I think they're right. So, guys, what do you think about today's news? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time.